Okay, so the quest line. Quest line. More Walker. We have much to discuss. Speak to Bobo and you live the victory against the dealer. Okay. Defeat. Fight for Azeroth. Betrayed your duty as arbiter and shall be bound forevermore. Your madness has threatened the cycle of life and death entirely. You could have sought another way, brother. Imagine what we could have accomplished together. Why is over? What drove you to this end? You preserve that which is doomed. A cosmos divided will not survive. What is to come? Ice Queen is back to normal now. The sky is all better. Okay. The balance Prison must the be truth. restored. Speak to you, though, in orbit to escort. Okay. I fear darker day. I shall deliver the crown of wills to the arbiter. Then we will bear witness to the fate of Sylvanas Wind. Okay. We're going back to the Orbis. Should be oh okay I see. There we go. Be warned, their words will be harsh. What is what is this, dude? What's going on? Can I talk to any of the NPCs or you can't? Lame! Something's happening! Alright. Uh, let's start this quest line, shall we? Word of Savannah's arrival has spread throughout the Shadowlands. Many wish to see her pay for her crimes. Come, let us be on our way. So we're going. Where are we going? Oh, Esquire. You defiled our sacred groves. Torment is all you deserve. How many souls have you doomed? We trusted you! You betrayed us all! My home, my family, 
all burned to ashes. That's that's okay. Let's stay there. Is it justice they seek, or vengeance? Anger and pain make it difficult to tell the difference. What might your purpose be? The flow of souls into the Maw has ended. The Covenants and the Shadowlands have been restored. Only one task remains. Oh, hey, Jubin. Um, I just got an offhand. This one. 255. Okay. Now we're going to begin this quest line. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh! Okay. Okay, so, 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 hold on. Before we start this, let's see how many people I know. So I know Bovar. There's his daughter. There's. Don't know who that is. Random NPCs. Random NPCs. Don't know. Okay, there's Bane. Uh. Let's see. Oh, hey, there's Thrall. There's Thrall. There's Andrew Wynn. Hey, Jane is there. And, uh, Jane Graeming is there. And, uh, let's see how else we know. Uh, my Eve. What is your report? Tyrande. Uh, Sand Shandris. Uh, what else do I know? Let's see. There's Euthra, Savannah. There's High Lord. Uh, let's see who else. Who else? Who else? Oh, there's uh, the Lothamar. Uh, Sathria. Uh, th th Connect punch on name. And then Lynn Voss. Okay, we got everyone here to see what's going on. Let's begin the quest. We stand Speak to Pegasus to win the uh, judgment. Let us begin. Yes. Let us. Pegos, what's going on here? Witness. Cutting time. Sylvanus Windrum, the time for your judgment is at hand. There can be no true justice without compassion. And I can see your deeds bear the mark of the Jailer's influence. An influence we failed to contain. The Jailer did not control me. My actions were mine alone. And I accept their consequences. Then, you know in your heart to whom you must answer. I submit to the judgment of Tyrande Whisper. Entrusting justice to your most fervent adversary. Are there any gathered here who object to this fate? So be it. What game do you play now, Banshee? The Sylvanas I hunted would never submit to the blade of her enemy. Death would be a merciful end, Tyrande. And I do not expect your mercy. Your newfound remorse might be genuine, but it can never erase all you have done. There will be no peace for you, Windrunner, until there is peace for the souls of your victims. The prisoner is in my charge now. 
Bring her. Okay. Okay. This is my calling. Speak your time right now at the moment. True justice brings both punishment and renewal. I trust in Tyrande to achieve both. So long. There is much we need to say to one another. I know, sisters. But judgment comes. Okay, I want to talk to the NPC. Starting with Andrew. We will not allow uh, the shadow of things. I've seen what the jailer forced me to do hangs over me. For the part you played in setting me free, I'll always be grateful, but I cannot pretend that I can simply go back to being the person I was. I need time. No doubt the whole world will, will rely upon your courage in the days ahead. Defend Azeroth, Kambus, no matter what comes. Greyman, I refuse to believe that your fallen war chief feels even the slightest Remor remorses for her crimes. When would she answers for what she did to my people, to my son? Uh, you have much to answer for as well. Uh, lost them all. What do you have to say? I Never greet you on the heart. Listen to I, or no strangers to suffering and tragedy. I have seen my people massacred, my kingdom raised, and all I received defiled. When Silver Moon at last rejoined, rejoined the world, it was Sylvanas who extended her hand and welcomed us into the horde. Those days are long behind us now. The devastation and loss inflicted upon Azeroth by the Banshee Queen is not nigh incredible. The knowledge that I stood by a while so much of it happened still haunts me. Perhaps in the end, judgment will come for me as well. Uh, Bane, what do you have to say? I the might of the sun. Sylvanas has me imprisoned and tortured me. Or tortured for defi defi de defying her. So the pain she inflicted upon me pales in comparison to that of her other victims. For a time, I hated her for what she did to me and to the horde, but hated is a position once it steps into your veins it will sp spell your doom it is right that Savannah's faces justice for all she has done the guilty must stand before those they were wrong and answers for the crimes all right next this we is our when Savannah our sent her moss ones to capture me all I wanted to to was escape to leave the shadowlands behind and return to my home, my family. And yet this journey has taught me so much about my mother, about myself, and about the legacy we all have behind. This was not the path I would have chosen, but perhaps the path I needed to walk. Alright, and then, uh, what do you we have to must say, High Lord? What As I sat for years upon the frozen throne, I felt malevolent shadow upon my mind. I did not realize it was the jailers attempting to twist me into yet another of his pawns. It took all of my resolve to resist his influence, and still I have no way of knowing how many of my actions for the for the side Ice Crown Citadel's true purpose. That is what is most insidious about him. Even after the jailer's defeat, the doubt he showed within each of us lives on. And Yutha, what do you have to say? 
In life, Sylvanas Winron will serve as Ranger General of Sibirin. If you had told her then of the archers, she would c comment, and underneath she wouldn't have been believe you. We all sometimes harbor darkness in our hearts. I healy succumb to mind what I did to authors could have been become the first step on a path of domination. Diminution. Uh, yet from understanding flows compassion, and compassion can save us from any darkness. It is an idea to which we must all aspire, though we must never forget that it does not to come easily. Hold on, uh, dude. I'm trying to, I'm reading something. Uh, but yeah. The wardens are watching. Do you believe this to be justice, mage? That survivors be allowed to endure after slaughtering countless innocents. There was a time when rage clouded my vision and I turned my grave against now, my own people. After so and long. After. There is much we need to say to one another. I know, sisters. But judgment comes. Anyways. There was a time when raids clouded my vision and I turned my glaive against my own people. And after my beloved command Syria was struck down and raised into underneath, she unleashed her hatred against us. By which both our lives were forfeit, yet I was given a chance to mend that which I had to soft to tear a son. Not for my sake, but for those who I want, I pray you may receive that change as well. As for uh, Savannah's, I do not know if this is justice, but I believe that is right. Okay, Tywanda, what do you have to say? My vigil continues. The Banshee tore a gaping wound in the soul of my people. She set to our home, a fame and sent countless Kadawai to them all. Whatever judgment the other hands, down, Carl never balanced the scales. Nothing he can do or say will ever be enough. Okay, <clears throat> uh, Sandris. I am listening. What do you have to say? The Kaladawai, those who burn as well as those who survive, have long awaited this moment to know that the Banshee will be made to answer for all she has done. Many called for her head. Some still do, and I doubt that anything else will satisfy them. But Savannah spoke true when she aided death would be a mercy, and if she can spare souls from the torment of the mall, then perhaps her penance will prove more valuable than her exceptions. I um, never miss a shot. Okay, did I read everyone's NPC? Goddess, watch over uh, you. Oh, these two. We stand together. Uh, after wit witnessing Savannah's deeds during the war, I feel the last vestige of the sisters I knew was gone forever. But when I h heard what transpired in her the Shadowlands, I had to come and see it for myself. I understand if you thought me a fool for still having hope. But I've lost so many that I loved. If there is even a chance that a spark of the survivors I knew has returned, then I refuse to give her up on her. And finally, her sister, Elyria. Fight well. Elyria. Okay. Ah, Kambus, before I face the coming judgment, I would share words with you. I was recently reminded that we cannot change the past if you choose to hate me. For the things I've done, I could not, I could not blame for it. But know this, we share a common cause once and you have proven your dedication to the ho Horde time and again and I hope that will continue to defend it no matter what would may come. Wow, that was some good reading. Remember those from all the NPCs. Now it is time to complete the quest line. Time under. Give me the cutscene. Below lies the war, an unjust fate to which you 
doomed so many. And it will be there that your penance begins. Every soul lost in its depths, betrayed or condemned, you shall find and send forth to the Arbiter to be judged with the compassion all souls deserve. You will toil there under Dorotha's watchful eye, scouring every darkened reach until the final soul is free and you are all that remains. This is how you shall bring renewal to your victims and my people. However long it takes, it shall be done. There she goes. Undo Falado, old friend. Watch her well. And then the hours go with her. There she goes. The more she goes. Bye bye. There she goes. Step. And that. The Banshee's penance will save countless lost souls. A fate that would not have come to pass had I slain her in Ardenweald. Perhaps that is why Mother Moon stayed my hand. The Horde inflicted a grievous wound upon my people. You may never earn my trust, but you have my thanks for setting things right. So that's the... that's it. That's the quest. Alright. There we go. Spirits watch over you. Without honor, we to have think nothing. We now stand on the other side of the veil. That those we lost await us here, among these countless afterlives. Is there anyone you would seek out, Bane? For one last conversation before you return to the land of the living? No need to spare my feelings, Lord the Mar. You are asking if I wish to find my father. The truth is, I do not need to. His spirit is always with me, wherever I go, whatever I do. Guiding me just as his ancestors guided him. And what of you? Is there someone you would visit, given this chance? Prince Kael'thas. Long have I held the title of Regent Lord, all the while wondering if I was truly suited to lead my people. I would ask the last liege of Silvermoon if he regrets the choices he made, a chance to mend old wounds, and perhaps feel that the torch has truly been passed. A feeling I understand all too well. I pray your conversation brings you the peace you seek, my friend. Okay. What brings you to me? No, not yet. I don't want to talk to you again. Wait, let me ask some more. Maladash, Malinore. Well met, King Greyman. Regent Lord. I hope the fate of Sylvanas Windrunner brings the Alliance some measure of peace. Peace? You stand in the Shadowlands, Regent Lord. Ask the dead she sent here whether they feel peace. As for me, that's something I will never know. Not while the monster who killed my son still endures. I understand. My people are haunted by the deeds of monsters as well. And what of you? Are you hoping that the Ranger General you served comes back from the Maw, or would you prefer having your war chief again? I spent most of my life alongside the Windrunner family. 
Sylvanas was my hero. And my friend. But the Banshee who nearly led the Horde to ruin was neither. Then you shouldn't have followed her commands. Good day, Regent Lord. Good day, King Greymane. All I do, I do for Gilnaeus. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you safe, my king. Even after reading Jaina's reports, I can scarcely imagine the horrors you endured. There were times I thought I would never escape the Jailer's control. The things he made me do. Those actions were not your fault. You cannot blame yourself. I... I should have been stronger. And when Rin, you are the strongest man I know. And when you return to Stormwind, the whole kingdom will tell you the same. I can't go back, Ken. Not yet. But the people need... Turalyon will keep the Alliance safe in my absence. And I know you watch over everyone we care about. Old Wolf. Of course. Take whatever time you need. And when you're ready, please, come home. Alright. Next. The Shadowlands. When my service to the Kyrian began, and I first learned of them all, the knowledge filled me with sorrow. A mortal life is so incredibly brief. I questioned whether any actions taken within that span of time could truly be worthy of eternal torment. I confess that as an aspirant, I did not think of such things, only of duty. It was not until I witnessed Uther's plight that I recognized the injustice of the Maw. Never again will a mortal soul be sent to its depths. All deserve a chance at redemption. Recent events have shown us that a single mortal soul, in fact, every mortal soul, can alter the course of eternity. Indeed, for good or for ill. In the end, it was mortals and their decisions that shaped the fate of the Shadowlands. As Arbiter, I will take that lesson to heart. Every soul will be treated with compassion and will be given a voice in which afterlife awaits them. Okay. And you guys want to move? Ah, that way. We are driven by a single purpose. Retribution. We will face Whatever comes. Without the helm of domination to control them, the scourge roams leaderless. Nothing remains to temper their aggression. Indeed. The mightiest among them already vie for supremacy. Like vicious warlords in the wake of their king's death. We cannot allow any of them to seize command and unite their forces. The Ebon Blade must remain vigilant. And so we shall. Though Azeroth may never truly be rid of the Scourge, we will keep them in check. You have my word. Ice Crown Citadel remains a seat of dark power. We must not let it fall into enemy hands. Perhaps I should return to... No, Bolvar. Let the Frozen Throne sit vacant. The Knights of the Ebon Blade will safeguard the Citadel in your stead. Talia needs her father. Darien, thank you. Strange, is it not? We both lived lives of service, and even after facing death itself, we still feel compelled to serve others. Sometimes, the greatest act of service 
is to be present to those who need us. Until we meet again, High Lord. Okay. We each walk a line. Baladash, my Choose Lord. yours. For so long there had been little more than hatred and malice in our sister's eyes. To at last see a glimmer of the Sylvanas we knew. I had ceased hoping for such a thing. I am pleased we had a chance to speak with her, Varisa. I only wish we'd had more time. As do I. But if she stays true to her word and sees this obligation through, perhaps one day we will. It will never be like it was before. The pain she inflicted upon the Kaldori, upon the world. How could she ever answer for it? I'm not certain she can. But if her penance brings any measure of peace to those she wronged, at least it is a start. You are right, Lady Sun. Our family has endured so much darkness. We must find a way to cling to hope. Yes, Little Moon. Mother. Father. Lyrith. They are only memories. We thought our sister was as well. But now... We shall see. Hello everybody, Evil Doom Master here, and thank you very much for watching this video for Savannah's Judgment questline and patch 9.2 for the Shellens expansion. And I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and a like. And make sure you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell. And uh, follow me on Twitter at Evil Master. And follow me on Twitch at Evil Master for my live streaming. And follow me on Facebook at Evil Master. And follow me on TikTok at Evil Master. And you can also give me more questions. You can put them in the comments below you can also put them on facebook twitter and also on my discord so as well for a uh, future q a video so anyway guys i'm gonna be uh signing off and i'll see you guys next time see ya